Have you ever thought there just had to be something wrong with you? You're trying to eat perfectly, you're trying to exercise perfectly, and yet it's like you're in all the time. You notice you hold your breath, or you or shallow breathe, or your adrenals are exhausted, or you're tired and you can't sleep, and your posture is like this, and your digestion is up and you can't think, and you've been to practitioner, you've been to doctor, you've been to counselors, you've been to so many people, and you're just feeling hopeless and frustrated. Did you know there's a little switch in your brain? It happens to be called the primitive reflex of <laughs> startle. <laughs> And if it's not reset, then your body and brain's capacity to calm down is virtually non-existent. Hi, I'm Cheryl Townsley, naturopath and wisdom coach, and in working with thousands of people from around the world for 30 years, although I've worked with food and supplements and movement, I find that if we learn to work with our brain, with our nervous system, we can have profound results. So I want you to take just a moment so that I can show you how to reset your startle reflex or help children, grandchildren, or other people who are constantly in fight, flight, or fear. Because as we get stuck in fight, flight, or frozen, Everything shuts down, the aging process accelerates, and we can't be our best. So let's take a look at how you can reset your startle reflex. When setting your startle reflex, when you want to reset it, I encourage you to take pictures. Pictures of how you stand, forward, profile, how you set. Because if the startle reflex is off or agitated, there's going to be more postural issues, there's going to be more of a startled expression, and just the inability to relax. So if you can capture that in a picture before, and then as you do this over time, go back and take another picture and compare. There should be a difference. And of course, if at any point in time you would like more support in this, give our office a call at Lifestyle for Health, 719-488-5688. But I'm going to show you the basics of it and what to look for, what it may look like when you're not able to do it, and then how you can start at a more basic level. So the idea is that you're going to put your right foot over the left, your right arm over the left, and a lot of times when startle is a problem, people can't remember right from left. Even that can be an indicator of this being off. So you're going to right over left, right over left, you're going to curl up, curl down as much as you can, and then here's the next piece. <gasps> so arms go out, legs go out, head goes back, eyes go back with the head, and there is an audible gasp. <gasps> because this is the complete opposite of this. But here's what happens to a lot of people. After they figure out right from left, and they've done this, they might... Nothing happens. Arms only go to here, because that's closer to here. The head doesn't go back. There isn't a release of all of this. So the first thing you can do is just do arm over arm, right arm over left, curl up, leaving the feet stationary. <gasps> now, if that's not possible, if your body doesn't know how to do that extension and doesn't know how to let this arch and do a gasp, <gasps> then here's something you can do. Kids love this, and it's great for us as adults. You simply get on the floor, because the floor is safer than sitting in a chair. How do we know? Because babies start on the floor and have to learn how to sit up. So lying on the floor on your back, just do snow angels, maybe just starting with your hands, and when that's available, then you can do your feet and hands, and you would be doing this on the floor that begins to let this movement become safe. And when you're working with the nervous system, brainstem and cerebellum, safety matters. You can't reset startle if what you're doing isn't safe. So whether you start on the floor with snow angels, whether you start 
with just the hands and arms. <gasps> and we want to be able to get to where we can do this. So this is what we're after, but start at the place that's easiest and safest for you. So right over left, curl up. <gasps> And come back and do left over right, curl up. <gasps> and then you would do right over left, and you would repeat that cycle to where you can do it about five to seven times. Now, in the beginning, I can assure you if you're stuck in startle, that's not going to be possible. It would just startle you and set you off even more. Give yourself permission to start with easy. Give yourself permission to let it be safe and play and discover. Because what we want is for the nervous system that has been shut down to feel safe enough to open up. That opens up posture. It opens up breathing. It relaxes you from being stuck in this part of your brain to get up to here where you can be logical and make decisions and play, execute dis decisions and discover. So much happens up here, but if you're stuck back here in startle, you can't get up here. So this is very helpful after any type of trauma, after an accident, after a loss or grief or surgeries. So. Once you recognize you're in it or someone that you love, start either on the floor with snow angels or start with just your hands and practice it. But what you want to eventually get to is full hand and arm extension, full leg and feet extension, and that your head can go back and you have a gasp. And when you've done that, and as you do it over and over, right over left and left over right, the more you have reset that primitive reflex, startle reflex. And that frees up the nervous system and the body to create health. Working with the nervous system is part of what we do at Lifestyle for Health. Because if you don't work with your nervous system and your brainstem cerebellum, you'll sabotage so many of your best desires to create health. So if you ever have a question, check us out. Connect with us at lifestyleforhealth.com. We're here to help you discover how you can create health one easy minute at a time.